guys we know that trading starts at 9 am and ends at 3 30 pm but how to automate this so hi all this is vivek from profit chapter so we provide solutions and hurdles that you face while doing real-time trading so we put a lot of effort to help and unblock you to become a profitable trader so please subscribe to our channel so i would like to introduce you to a python library that handles all the time related works so we have a library date time that will provide all the necessary information that we require to code a time related logics. So let's move to the coding part. So we will import this library date time and we will call this method date.today. So now date.today will return the today's date. So if we I comment this one. So you can see that it has returned the today's date. So if we want to return the date of current time like of just now time we have to use this method date time dot now. So currently the time is 19th of December and 11. 0.4 minutes 43 second is the microsecond so it returns all the minute information about today current time and now if, if we want to know the current hour current minute current day we have to do this hour is equal to date now dot hour So if you run this code, so you can see that it has returned hour, minute and second. Thing we want to know is to know the past time and the future time. Suppose we need to know the past hour and the future hours or past two hours time. So how will we know that? So for that we use time delta. So if we want to get the hour value of previous hour so we will use hours we will add the value how much hour we are trying to add and same for the minute same for the seconds and if we are going to the past we need to subtract and if we want to go to future we need to add so let's print this one So you can see that the current time is 11 pm so one hour before is 10 pm and a minute before is 7 a second before is 29 so this is how we can use time delta to know the future and the past time thank you hello guys so now we have learned the time delta and the date time now methods so now we will implement the live market scenario. So I have written a method where I have implemented that. So you can see that if condition, so the date time hour should be greater than nine and it should be less than three. If it is satisfy the condition, then it's the else the market is closed. So let me run it. So currently it is closed because the time is currently 7.41 p.m. So that's it guys, thank you.